guys, uh, Chris here. So, um, surgery was this morning, 07.30, got here at 05.45, did all the check-in. Um, as you can see, I've got IVs and patch and everything going on. So obviously I've had my surgery. Um, the surgeon said everything went well with the artificial discs put in at three, four, and four, five in the cervical spine and the fusion and titanium cage in five, six. And um, I can't say it right now, but the, the incision is underneath the patch of um, bandage here, obviously, um, to be staying overnight in the hospital so they can monitor my progress. And How do you feel, um, I, feel I feel pretty good. Um, I, I have mild discomfort right now, uh, no numbness or any issues in the arms right now, thankfully. I'm hoping that means that um, they got um, the, ver the vertebrae up off of the nerves. Um, we'll see over the next couple of days um, if, it, if it holds. But right now, I actually feel pretty good considering it was an extensive surgery. Um, I'll probably do an update either later tonight or tomorrow just to let you know how I'm feeling um, and kind of go from there, just kind of gauge when I feel like doing videos, maybe when I get home. Um, Take care and uh, hit like on the video and subscribe to the channel. Uh, so the doctors typically when you have the surgery will tell you that um, some of the discomfort you'll feel is in your throat. Um, but a lot of that is from the tube, the breathing tube they put down uh, your throat when you're having the surgery, but also um, moving uh, things to the side the surgeon does so that they can get to the vertebrae and the discs to clean them out. So trying to swallow some pills, even just eating applesauce a little while ago, it was sore. Uh, it was it kind of reminded me of when you're uh, when you have strep throat, and it's just really hard to swallow, but none of that burning, uh, raw pain. Just that feeling of it being hard to swallow, just even a pill. Um, but other than that, um, I'm feeling really good, and I'm really happy about that. Um, I'm sure the medicine's helping, so we'll see over the next couple of days how I'm really doing and kind of go from there. Hey everyone, it's about uh, 10 hours after surgery time and I'm uh, feeling pretty good. Um, no pain, thanks to the pain medication. Um, just an ache where they actually did the surgery, which was expected. Um, as you can hear, my voice is going because they had to move several things out of the way to get to the cervical spine. And it is a bit hard to swallow, it's a little painful at first, um, even to sip water, but Again, those things will dissipate after the first couple of days. Um, other than that, I'm feeling really good. Um, very happy things went well, and I'll update you again soon. Hey guys, just a quick update on me. It's uh, the next morning after surgery, uh, just close to 24 hour turnaround time. Um, feeling pretty good. Got about three hours of sleep last night in between the nurse doing vitals and things like that. Still hurts to swallow, um, but the nurse brought me a couple of popsicles around midnight, which was a nice treat and really helped the throat a lot. Um, gonna eat a little soft breakfast this morning, stay on the soft foods for another day or so. The physician's assistant just came by for the surgeon. I'm very happy with the results and how things are going. Um, the drain off stay in a couple more days, unfortunately, but um, it's easy to take care of at home. Um, just wanna let you know how I was doing. I'm feeling pretty good. The, staying ahead of the pain uh, with meds. And like I said, the biggest problem is just hurts to swallow. But again, there's ways to work around that with tea and popsicles. All right, talk to you again soon. Hey everyone. Um, it's uh, almost 24 hours since my surgery, day two. Um, you can see I'm still hooked up to a lot of things. Uh, they did take the IV, um, they did take the fluids out. I'm just still have the needles in. Um, so I'm able to drink water and other liquids. Still a little painful to swallow those liquids. Um, the doctor actually gave me a really good uh, hint. He said that other patients, what they found is if they lower their neck just a little bit, and kind of turn to the left just a little, uh, and I did try it and it works, uh, it lessens uh, how hard it is to swallow. So tip for somebody that goes through this soon, um, it's been helpful. Um, I still have my drain in, uh, keep it in till tomorrow, um, just to drain any extra fluid from the wound area. Um, still have the heart monitors on. Um, it also has an alarm to let them know if you stand up and try to get out of bed on your own because you're not supposed to. <laughs> they know me too well. Um, and then I have my um, compression socks. There's a little machine hooked up to it that uh, helps compress um, the legs there to keep the blood flowing, make sure there's no clotting, things like that. 
Um, and then uh, drinking water. Um, I was able to eat some scrambled eggs this morning, um, just chewed on them, and then I tried that trick to kind of lower and turn to the left, and it actually hurt less to swallow. Um, had some yogurt and some applesauce. Um, able to drink most fluids, uh, hence why they removed the IV. I don't need the fluids anymore. Um, pre doing pretty good. I feel actually pretty comfortable, other than the you know the sore throat. My vocals were uh, a little irritated last night, but they gave me some midnight popsicles, and um, as you can hear, my vocals are kind of back to normal. Uh, today so i'm hoping to be off the pain meds maybe in the next day or two what are the meds you're taking oh um they have me on oxycodone right now and then some tylenol are the pain meds that i'm taking and then they're also giving me steroid injections um, they were through the iv um, just to help with the inflammation in the neck area um, for pain and things like that to take the swelling down um, I'm feeling really good in my arms. I don't have any numbness right now in my arms. Uh, no pain in my neck, uh, shoulders area. So that's really, really nice. Um, doctor said surgery went well. I saw him this morning. He was pleasantly surprised with um, the disc replacements um, and the fusion at five and six at the bottom. I said everything went in really well and looks really good. So, What, what can you do as far as mobility? Um, I'm able to get out of the bed. Um, I just have to make sure um, if you've had back pain or uh, spine pain for a while, you know about rolling. Um, so basically roll like a log. Um, I roll on my side and then use my elbow and my hand to lift up and kick my feet off the bed as I'm doing that and then sit up and then get up. Um, they don't want you to use um, your stomach muscles because you're actually also using your neck muscles even though you don't realize it. Um, so you could hurt yourself and the stitches. Um, I'm actually able to get up and walk around. They have me using a walker here, but I didn't really need it. I was able to go for a walk around the floor here um, without the walker or a cane. I uh, felt really comfortable, just went slow. Um, and then I have a collar that they gave me, but um, they said I really only need it like if I'm riding in a car, um, something of that nature, um, or if I feel like I need stability in a moment, um, but not to wear it too often because they don't want the muscles to rely on that. And then it takes longer to you know rehabilitate them and get stronger again. So. Um, overall, I'm doing really well, um, feeling great, and um, like I said, the soreness in the throat area will probably dissipate in the next day or two, hopefully, and um, we'll get the um, bandage off maybe by Friday or early next week, um, and then I can shower hopefully by Friday. What do you need to do to be able to leave the hospital today? Oh, so um, in order to leave today, they wanted to make sure that I have my pain managed and under control, which I do. Um, they've been really dil diligent about getting me the pain meds. I've actually been able to go a little, about an hour or so after when they were due, um, feeling that good. Um, and then the physical therapy team comes in and they do occupational therapy where they um, have me climb a, a couple sets of stairs and make sure that I can walk around without assistance and that I'm okay to go home because that means I'm okay to be at home without nursing assistance. All right, it's 11 o'clock, following day from the first, from the surgery. Um, Chris just had her IVs pulled out and now we're about to be released from the hospital and head home. How do you feel, Chris? I feel really good. Everybody keeps coming in and saying they're surprised at how well I'm doing and seem, you know, pretty happy. Um, just still having some discomfort when I swallow. Uh, but again, the doctor gave me a little hint to kind of lean down and turn a little left and it's easier to swallow. Uh, I got my drain still in. I'm getting that out tomorrow morning. Um, did some physical therapy, walked some stairs, got in a mock car, occupational therapy. They taught me how to get dressed and things like that. So brush your teeth and, you know, not do too much bending, lifting and twisting, BLTs. Um, other than that, I'm doing great, ready to go home. How do you feel about getting the surgery? Surgery was probably the best decision I ever made. A surgeon came by this morning, said everything looked really good uh, when he got all the hardware in there, the um, artificial discs and then the titanium cage. Um, the fusion plates that everything went in really well and he's uh, very happy so that I should definitely be in a lot less pain if not completely out of pain. All right, next video you'll see, we'll, we'll be at the house.
right, we just got home and now we're gonna um, kind of figure out what we wanna do the rest of the day. Uh, Chris is gonna get settled and uh, we'll see how she feels and we'll get back to, uh, to you guys maybe in a day or two. Yeah, probably in a day or two. Um, and the collar, I only wore it for the drive home uh, for safety and stability, but it definitely doesn't need to be on the whole time if not needed. So more about going to grocery stores and places that you want people to know not to kind of bump into you. All right, see you guys later.